happiness through curiosity on TRS clips. I have a very straightforward question to you. You're from Kerala. Yes. Why do people in Kerala have such nice hair? <laughs> <laughs> like, is it is it coconut oil? Like that is being put. Not necessarily genetic factors. Okay. Biological environment. That is also in Ayurveda. We can say it's the uh, desha. Depending the the position of a particular place is also classified yeah. and and uh, it is basically kapha predominant area Kerala. Mm. It's it's actually locked in backwaters uh, with the, the geographical position of our uh, Kerala also contributes to the hair compliment I would take it. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there much more of a prevalence of Ayurveda in Kerala? I've noticed this also. Uh, Ayurveda is very much prevalent because of the authenticity. That means the uh, principles Ayurvedic formulators are sticking on to okay. uh, with the purity. They are uh, uh, strictly following the literature okay. for the medicine manufacture as well as the procedures. And there are some techniques developed in Kerala that uh, that is also contributing like Keraliya Panchakarma Chikilsa. That is also contributing much to the uh, uh, Ayurvedic aspects because strictly Ayurvedic practices are followed. Not only external, uh, internal pacification of uh, doshas, internal purification, detoxification. This is done through a particular system and that is, com is, that is sticked on to. Okay. That is the uh, effect that uh, Ayurveda brings in and that's very predominantly done in Kerala. That's yeah. Lots of my friends in Mumbai like go to Kerala for these like Ayurvedic breaks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, they'll go there for a week. They'll have a bunch of processes done on their body. Yeah. A lot of which are related to purification and massages. Yes, yes, like yes. an Ayurvedic massage. Mm. Is that the it, technique it, you spoke about right it, now? It's, it's only a physical uh, aspect of it. Uh, usually, snehana, that is uh, lauding your body with unctuous, that is um, uh, ghee related, medicated ghees are given to bring out the doshas to wow. a level. And then these massages are given to Again, to um, uh, Abhyanga. Abhyanga is the treatment. It's a treatment only. It's not a massage. It is a scientific pa pattern of massaging the body, which also brings out, brings the doshas to a particular aspect, uh, point of the body. And then... Uh, Shodhana treatment, purifactory treatments like Vasti, Virajan. What are all these? Like Vastis what? are uh, medicated, um, uh, that is, a, uh, the, it is the anal installation of medicated decoctions. Yeah. yeah. Oh. It sort of directly purifies the gut yeah. and it has and uh, invisible effects. When, 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 I, when I talk about invisible effect, Ayurveda uh, processes can, can't be visible to you in a macro level. As uh, Charaka Samhita, it is mentioned that Pratyaksham hi alpam, apratyaksham analpam. That means what is visible to you, what is perceivable to you through your senses is very little. And what is not perceivable to us as to human beings is vast. Hmm. So finding explanations to each and everything is not possible. Just like we don't hear the sound more than 200 decibels or below to 20 decibels. Mm. So there is a vast area of things we are unaware of. We mm. are not, our senses are not capable of perceiving. How long are you cleansed for? Like you should do it like once or twice a year, I'm assuming. Mm. It's actually uh, mentioned that uh, we have to focus on Ritu Sandhis, okay. the, where the seasons meet. The a, the the time period where the seasons meet are the time period which our body is more prone to diseases, mm. where the immunity level is very low. So, depending uh, to uh, focusing on that in Ritu Sandhi, that is the seasonal meets when the after summer suddenly the rain comes, mm. so many diseases are popping up. So the body should be prepared for that, and this purgation should be purgative message um, uh, measures or uh, uh, this uh, shodhana treatment can be done once in six months. Once in six months. Yes. Okay. Wow. To combat this immunity related issues, it mm. works. Mm. Yeah. Um. I'm going to relay another experience I've had lately. So I actually had a shoulder injury just out of the blue. I went to my physio 
who first fixed my posture and then they did this particular kind of massage called lymphatic drainage uh where they massage you in a particular way mm. and she says that over time anyone who does a lot of weight training what happens is in weight training you always focused on creating a bit of a burn in your muscle mm. matlab you'll keep lifting the dumbbell till you feel that burn mm-hmm. okay now over time over like 5 10 years of doing this that burn you're feeling is basically lactic acid accumulating and then after you stop doing the set that lactic acid drains yes, away sir. but when something drains away bits of it are left residue of it is left mm. now that residue stays in your full musculature and eventually can cause problems Build in up. your life yes and i asked her okay so say if someone's done weight training for like 10 years and you think that they've not done good lymphatic drainage mm. what are some symptoms that you see so she's like a lack of a glow on the face pimples on the face again it's pitta dosh yes so i am as you and i'll also what i'll also say is um this lymphatic drainage thing it happens over 10 to 15 sessions i think but every time they give you a different kind of massage okay yes. and every time they'll tell you listen if you're getting chakkar if you're feeling giddy mm-hmm. you go home and sleep mm. so my first thing was why would i get chakkar from a massage <laughs> like i'm i'm a man <laughs> <laughs> but uh you actually feel a little giddy uh and by the fifth session that i had they had told me listen today maybe your stomach will be upset so i said why why from a massage and it really had become upset yes. something was getting thrown out of my body yeah yeah uh and the, what you said about the ayurvedic yes. massage also sounds yes similar only yeah yeah bringing in the doshas to koshta that is the elementary tract when you say that and then you poop oh. out like all yes, your yes, toxins yes. yes that's basically the concept they also said that you'll pee a lot uh, and uh, this used to happen after like every lymphatic mm-hmm. drainage mm-hmm. so all these things again that the world of modern medicine is discovering has mm-hmm. been there in our culture for a while yeah and i also feel you know i asked you about why kerala has such a strong ayurvedic culture mm-hmm. because generally the south of india is just more culturally connected to what india used to be mm-hmm. before invasions happened before yeah. the british etc etc it's just how uh the geographical nature of india is mm. so if you enjoy this video subscribe to trs clips for more